Praise the Lord. I want to thank everyone for joining us tonight on Cultivating Spiritual Excellence. I'm Brother Marshall, and our host is none other than Dr. Marshall. We also have in the studio our Deacon Donovan, and I hope that tonight you're ready to get into the Word. Before we get into tonight's teaching, let us pray. Father God, I thank you for another opportunity to come before you, Lord Jesus. Lord, because you're worthy to be praised. I'm praying right now, Lord, that as we get into tonight's teaching, Lord, that you will annihilate our minds. I pray, Lord, that you will just minister to our hearts, Father God, and you will also speak through your minister tonight, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you will bless him, Lord, Father God, and you will bless everyone that's listening tonight, Lord, that something will be different father god they'll never be the same again and they would make that choice to come to you and your matchless name amen at this time i'll be turning the rest of this program over to our dr marshall praise the lord glory to god it's truly an honor to have you joining us one more time on Choice Gospel Network, FM 92.9. It's your life and your salvation and your choice. Praise the Lord. We want to thank you so much for joining us and cultivating spiritual excellence. Cultivate means to prepare, to improve or develop by careful attention, training, studying God's Word. Spiritual relating to the affecting of the human spirit soul as opposed to spiritual as, as opposed to physical things for God is the spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth and excellence we know Daniel had an excellent spirit and a child of God have an excellent spirit because of the Holy Ghost that is in their lives hallelujah now we want to begin with our study here in the book of Luke, the 19th chapter. The text will be considered from verses 1 through 10, and the subject seeking a corrector change. Seeking a corrector change. Do you have your Bibles? Let's begin to read from verse 1. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press, because he was little of status. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to that place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at thy house. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all murmured that he was gone to, the, to be guest with a man that is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I will restore him fourfold. And Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house, for as much as he also is a son of Abraham, for the Son of Man come, not to seek, or came to seek, and to save that which was lost. So we see Zacchaeus seeking a character 
change. He was a publican. He was rich. Now, what I realized that, you know, religious people really shouldn't have problem with sinners. But they do have. Because self-righteousness is a dangerous thing. Religion, you have to be careful. When you get saved, you might say you're religious or you're not religious. And it's a debate about religion. But Jesus came to provide salvation. Hallelujah. He came to save sinners. He came to save those that were lost. If you hold, you don't need a physician, but you have to be sick. And sin is a sickness. And all men have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Hallelujah. Now, what I realized to preaching is the most important kind of public speaking known to man. The preacher speaks God's word in the words of man because God so God communicates it to people by words God called men and women to speak his word because he know them and he know that the world that we are living in need men to go and make disciples for the kingdom of God he also when he called people he know that that individual could do something that no one else can do for we are individually different hallelujah and what when god could use someone in one area he can use another he can use men all over some so we have various gifts and several ability so god has selected us to this task that we could do something that is essential to the salvation of man that are lost in spite of man's handicap and limitation each time a preacher steps into the pulpit, he must believe that he is doing something that no one else can do in this particular situation. For God has called him to that assignment. And no one could have fulfilled Jesus' position. No one could die for you but Christ. That's why for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life so now let's look at the text and Jesus entered and passed through Jericho and behold there was a man named Zacchaeus which was the chief among the publicans and he was rich and he sought to see Jesus who he was and could not for the press because he was little in statues and he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. Well, I'm telling you that Jesus is passing your way. You see, Jesus was a publican, and he was rich. Rich men still seek after Jesus. Rich man or poor man, we all need a savior. Rich is to separate you from the sinner and the godly. All have sinned. So if you're rich or you're poor, you still need a savior, which is Jesus Christ our Lord. What do you make about this story? That he seek to see who Jesus was. He didn't know Jesus. But we know a lot of folks don't know Jesus. They hear about Jesus. And and he climbed a tree. Now tree seems to be something high off the ground and sometimes men with, with education and, 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 and wealth and things they, they get high off the ground you know they, they have a lofty lifestyle and I have a few rich friends and they figure they're already blessed and I, I, I don't mean that they, I mean look, look how I'm living but there's a story about a man who said I will break down these bands and build new ones so you understand don't get too big for yourselves Hallelujah. But Zacchaeus, I realized, was wise. He heard about Jesus. Apparently, he heard about the miracles. He heard that he was the Messiah. He was Jewish. You see, he was Abraham's seed. And we benefit because of Jesus. And now we are Abraham's seed and heir according to the promise. So we are still part of God's heritage. We was not a people. Gentiles were not a people, but God grafted us into the family of God. So now there is no Jew, no Greek, no bond, no free. We are all saved. If you are saved and washed in the precious blood of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's a next man who seek Jesus, and he came by night. And we know him very well, Nicodemus. Let's look in the book of John, the third chapter. 
just as Zacchaeus seek Jesus, here yeah, this is a man who seek after Jesus. Nicodemus, a very well known and popular story. Hallelujah. But in matter of fact, you might heard the story, but you have to accept what is said here. Now in John chapter 3, from verses 1 to 8, let's read it together. There was a man, you see also a man of the Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. So we see Zacchaeus was a chief among the Jews. Now we're talking about a ruler, a religious leader, a Pharisee, a religious man, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night. So he had to sneak to find Jesus, but he still seek Jesus. He was wise enough to seek Jesus. Th then, when he reached Jesus, he said, Lord, Rabbi, he called him, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. He could have distinguished that Jesus was a man of God. And you can tell a man of God. Glory to God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. There's a difference in a true man of God and a false prophet. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, that means truly, Verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he's old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh. That which is born of spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto thee, He must be born again. The wind blows where it listeth, and thou hearest the song thereof, but canst not tell whence it come, and where it goes. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. Now, we are born into this world, we have a natural birth, and we have a human experience. But to go to heaven, you need a next birth. Hallelujah. You need a spiritual birth. Hallelujah. So, when you come into this world, is a fleshly birth. But now Jesus is offering you a spiritual birth. And, and Zacchaeus, he seeked to see who Jesus was. Jesus was on the road. And you know, Jesus makes all the difference in anyone's lives if he meets you along the road. You know, folks go on and give tracks on the road. You know, people on the road, a broad road lead to destruction but a narrow road leads to life so life is like a road we are on and the choices we make is significant in our life it make all the difference when you're born you're born in sin and was shaped in iniquity but when you are born again that new birth, that new experience god transposed you from darkness into his marvelous light and zacchaeus wanted to meet jesus he heard about him and many of us have heard about Jesus, about the miracles which he did. And he did a wise thing. He knew that he was short, short in status. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And he know the crowd. He couldn't get to meet Jesus. And, and within that crowd, hallelujah, there was a multitude. And in that crowd, you know, it have good folks and bad folks on the road also. But Jesus was on the road, and he was on the road that would save. He was there to seek and save those who are lost. But here the religious people had a problem. There was murmuring. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I remember before we got saved, a lot of religious people passed by. And they behaved like they took good to even tell the higher good morning. They had lofty ways about themselves. You know, there was a crowd and he was little in status he was short as we see today but he wanted to go hassle free he didn't want to, to be pressed by the crowd so he climbed a tree 
seeking after Jesus. You know the next story with a woman seek after Jesus? The woman with the issue of blood? When a man have a need, or a woman have a need, in their mind, in their spirit, they figure, well, hey, you know, I have to reach Jesus. I have to reach God in some way, in their very own way. And it, they, they process it in their mind, what type of action that they will take, and that's faith. The woman with the issue of blood say, if I touch his garment, Hallelujah. She does agony heal. And when she touched his garment instantly, she was healed. Here we see a different story here, but Zacchaeus knew Jesus was coming that way. And he climbed the tree. Because there was a crowd. He ran and climbed a sycamore tree where Jesus was to pass by. And if Jesus is passing by, hallelujah. This is your opportunity to meet him but what unique about this story here this is and he ran before and climbed up into the sycamore tree to see him for he was to pass that way and when Jesus came to the place ha, Jesus could meet you at your place Zacchaeus didn't know Jesus but it's strange how Jesus knew he was in the tree and here what happened here look at this it's very strange here and when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus. How, who told Jesus his name? Jesus know your name. He know all things. And a matter of fact, before Zacchaeus climbed the tree, Jesus knew there would be a man who named Zacchaeus will climb a tree and look for him. You see? Whatever is your name, Jesus know you by name. That's an awesome God. He know all things. He's omniscient. If you make a bell in hell, he know there. He know he, he just knows everything. That's the type of God we're serving. Hallelujah. So he said, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down. For today I must abide at thy house. Is that a privilege? Great privilege. Today Jesus could abide at your house. Glory to God. And if you seek him, you will find him. Hallelujah. So we see Zacchaeus seek to find Jesus and Jesus recognize him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Secondly, seeking after Jesus will get his attention. Hallelujah. Jesus is coming. Jesus was passing. Jesus is coming your way. Get ready. Get your future started in a newness of life. In the name of Jesus, seek to be born again, seek his face, and he could save you. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and he shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. Let's look at the next verse here in the next chapter. In Luke, let's look in Luke chapter 11. Verse 9 From 9 to 13 It says And I say unto you Ask and it shall be given you Seek and ye shall find Knock and it shall be opened unto you For every one that asks it Receive it And he that seek it find it And to him that knock it It shall be opened if a son shall ask a bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks a fish, would he give him a serpent? Or if he shall ask an egg, will he offer him scorpions? And if he then being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly father give? the Holy Ghost to them that ask him so the process of getting is to ask hallelujah to get Jesus attention you have to ask and a matter of fact before you ask Jesus know Jesus know your heart hallelujah and the mere fact that Zacchaeus seek after Jesus because Jesus was coming that way Jesus acknowledged 
that he was up in a sycamore tree you see jesus know to look for you and he know where to look zacchaeus had his high definition he claimed a tree how weird you are people who think you are weird are the one who end up successful you know successful people think different Christians think different they should think different that's why people look at you peculiar but we are peculiar people we have a royal priesthood when Christ come into your heart he take your natural and they get a touch of supernatural so the things they used to do you don't do them no more you can't do them no more because salvation has come to your house and there is a difference Jesus can see you come down from a high horse make a radical change and then God could use you you see when Zacchaeus came down he had a change of heart he had a change of mind he had a change of attitude look what he said here and Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord behold Lord the half of my goods I will give to the poor and if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I will restore him for whole. So the mere fact that Jesus had contact with Zacchaeus instantly, he had a change of heart. And that's the difference. If you really meet Jesus, there will be a change, a supernatural change will come over you instantly by the power of God. Jesus is God. He is the son of God. That's why everywhere Jesus went, before he do any miracle, he ought to say, sins be forgiven. And if Pharisees had a problem, who could forgive sins but God? They're right. Jesus is God. He is the son of God. And he has power on earth, in heaven and in earth. Because all power is given unto him. Make haste and come down. Hallelujah. I'm coming to your house. Now it gets interesting to see how Zacchaeus responded. Hallelujah. Instantly he took action. He, he, he faced reality. Hallelujah. Jesus is powerful. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Zacchaeus came down and received Jesus joyfully. Hallelujah. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. Now let's take a quick break and we will be right back. Glory to God. could have made it without you I would have lost it all but now I see how you were there for me and I can say never would have made it never could have made it without you I would have lost it all But now I see how you were there for me And I can say I'm stronger I'm wiser I'm better Much better When I look back Over all you brought me through I can see that you
Praise the Lord. Welcome back. Glory to God. And we ended the spot where Zacchaeus came down and received Jesus joyfully. Joy came to his house. Salvation came to his house. And there's rejoicing in any house where Jesus abides. If Jesus pay you a visit, or if you accept Jesus as Lord of our body, the temple of the Holy Ghost, there is joy that comes to that house and to that family, and there is blessing. And when Jesus enters, the enemy have to flee. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10 says, Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for who have nothing prepared for this day is holy unto our Lord neither be ye sorrow for the joy of, of the Lord is your strength when Jesus comes into your heart there's joy and there's rejoicing hallelujah remember Zacchaeus was a son of Abraham also hallelujah and Jesus came to seek and to save those that were lost Hallelujah. And he was Jewish. Abraham's seed. Abraham's son. But now we become Abraham's seed and Abraham's son because of Jesus Christ. So we are grafted into the family of God. So we could be joyful. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we could go away, eat the fat and drink. God promised to supply all our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And thirdly, Blessed people are envied. Hallelujah. Look how the folks murmured. And when they saw it, they all murmured saying, This man went to, the, to be a guest with that sinner. Jesus could go to any sinner house. He's the Savior. Hallelujah. And if Jesus, you are blessed if Jesus come to your house. You are blessed if Jesus tabernacle with you. And glory to God. And if you're in a church and Jesus is not there, you got to run from there. Because Jesus is the head of the church. Hallelujah. And glory to God. Hallelujah. And there's joy where Jesus is. We see the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is the strength of the, of, of the believer. Hallelujah. That's why we praise and we dance. The Bible says make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Hallelujah. So we are excited that we are safe. We know where we are going. And we don't want to go by ourselves. We are not selfish. We want to introduce people to Jesus. We want to come for you to come and see that the Lord is good. He's a good savior. These folks murmur. The religious people was murmuring. There's much murmuring around religious people. That's why I don't say I'm religious. I say I'm saved. And glory to God. Hallelujah, I'm born again. Hallelujah. But a lot of folks say they're born again. They're not truly really born again. But they use it as a slang. He ain't no joke. But you gotta be careful. So, but blessed people are envied. Zacchaeus was a rich man. He was blessed. Hallelujah. He probably robbed a few people. But he had a change of heart because Jesus had came to his home and came into his life. And when Jesus comes to your life, there's a great difference. Hallelujah. Jesus wanna be your guest. Hallelujah. He know you by name. Glory to God. Also, envy is a dangerous thing, you know. Remember Joseph? Hallelujah. Joseph was envied by his brother. David was envied by his brother. Glory to God, but he became king. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, let's look at scripture here with David. In First Samuel, chapter 17, verses 28 and 29 let's see what's going on here in this case here let's find it right Samuel chapter 17 let's look at verse 28 and 29 and see what went on here Glory to God. They say, And Elab, his eldest brother, heard when he spake unto the men. And Elab, angered, was kindled against David. 
and he said why comest thou down hither and with whom hast thou left those few sheep in the wilderness i know thy pride and thy naughtiness of thy heart for thou art come down that thou mightest see the battle and david said what have i now done is there not a cause when god bless a man or woman he are envied not only by his enemies he might have family members hallelujah you're running the problems with family members too glory to god but those but david said is there not a cause there's a cause when you get saved there's a cause now you have a purpose in life now you're born we all born with a purpose and you might purpose yourself to get good education you might purpose yourself to get wealthy you know various things in life natural things that you'll dream god because god has placed these things in our heart hallelujah but it's better you go after your dreams and after your vision with god in your life and god in your heart and god in your house zacchaeus seek for a change he climbed up the tree a matter of fact he didn't know jesus but jesus knew him you might know jesus but jesus know you he know your name he know exactly what state of life you are in presently glory to god he know your future as a matter of fact before you were even your mother's womb he knew you so that's the miraculous powerful god hope night present omnipotent god we are serving glory to god and you could come and taste and be part of that you see envy and envy feeling speaks of covetousness sometimes people watch your success david was successful now he was taking care of those few sheep if you watch the story but he was a man after god's own heart and deep down in zacchaeus heart although the bible didn't mention it he seek jesus so there's some stirring was going on in his heart and when jesus came and called him down he, and said make haste he came down he flew down off the tree and his whole attitude was different so you see when christ come into your heart your whole attitude your whole disposition your countenance the things you used to do steal rub and do those things you can't do them no because there will be conviction and anytime a man or a woman claim to be saved and have no conviction hey something is wrong hallelujah zacchaeus had a change of heart instantly but he was envy the people murmur against him like david people would murmur against you but you could not do nothing with a blessed man a man a blessed man is already blessed glory to god we see the change of heart hallelujah in verse 8 in our text and zacchaeus stood and said unto the lord behold the lord the half of my goods i give to the poor now he said i consider the poor probably before he didn't care but the poor is rich now we're thinking about the poor and if i have taken anything from any man by false accusation i'll restore him for whole restoration that's an attitude that a man has come to realize that god is a good god the blessings that he now have is because of god and he his eyes was open glory to god unless christ come into your heart and into your house your eyes would be closed to the things of god hallelujah you'll be only worldly but when christ come into your heart and he take the veil off your eyes you'll be able to see clearly you would have a passion for people you would help the poor help the destitute help the down and out care for the sinner glory to god you'd have a love for people that you and unless christ come into my heart you already can't love or no maybe infatuation but when christ come into your heart and and the love of god overtake you and and fill you you'll be more compassionate hallelujah and the hard heart you had the rough heart there will be change of heart hallelujah in ezekiel chapter 36 
verses 25 to 27 they say then I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols I will cleanse you I'll give you a new heart and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh I will give you a heart of flesh and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and ye shall keep my judgment and do them so when Christ come into your hearts and come into your life when a man is born again you had to have a new heart hallelujah you can't use the old heart and it speaks about your spirit man and, 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 and how you think and the core the essence of the human being that's the heart not that thing that's pump that thing that's pump blood hallelujah not that the spirit man the essence the core of the being he would change that that could be stony and that could be hard man could be wicked man is desperately wicked but God would change that heart and give you a new heart and regulate it brand new heart and the things that come out your mouth the things you would say and the things you would do of a kind and a soft and a tender heart that God would replace you know when the starter go bad you can't you rewire that starter you had to throw that starter away those 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 refurbished starter ain't no good man could refurbish stuff and, and change their heart and change their mind but when God come he give you a brand new heart and all things are passed away and all the and new and all things become new all the old things leave glory to God he will give you a new heart we see Zacchaeus repented he had a change in his attitude he said Lord the half of my goods I would give to the poor now we consider the poor before he could care about no poor and if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation he knew what he did no one could know more about you than you God know more about you than you think but he confess if you confess with your mouth and you believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord so realize Jesus is Lord realize that Jesus was the Messiah he realized that Jesus is the Christ the Son of the Living God that's why he made such a great effort to see Jesus hallelujah but you know sometimes when a crowd no one paying any attention in a crowd so most time you had to try to sneak and find some way to get to see the boss man and if you know the only way I could see Jesus I had to climb high because I'm a little in status or I had to do something out of the ordinary sometimes to reach Jesus you had to do out of the ordinary and Jesus is looking because he's seeking those that are lost and if you seek him diligently with a sincere heart he will see you and recognize you glory to God hallelujah praise be to God be realistic you want victory you want to be saved seek after Jesus wise men still seek Jesus when Jesus came to into Zacchaeus life he had a new lifestyle his ways were changed he was tender-hearted no he wonder he forgot any poor man that he robbed or in any way he wanted to like restore them for fool sometimes with people you know when we in the world we ain't do right but you find when we get saved you reconsider you want to see them you want to know how they're doing before they, you see you couldn't care but now you get saved you have a change in attitude you have a change in heart Zacchaeus had a change of heart now he's considering the poor he couldn't care about the poor before that what Jack Christ does you have a 90 degree turn now he's sympathetic now he's loving he, he's more tender hearted hallelujah you know we had to begin to train our mind and develop new habits glory to God right away instantly he talking about give to the poor and feed the poor give back four folds hallelujah glory to God and Jesus went to his house glory to God and Jesus said unto him this day salvation has come to this house for as much as he also is a son of Abraham for the son of man come to seek and to save that which was lost and today 
you might consider yourself lost but you were found I don't know your name Jesus know your name he know where you live he know if you're in a tree hey he know if you're in a pit he know if you're in a house he know wherever you are in a hotel you're doing the wrong thing drugs hallelujah many things the enemy have this world and have mankind bound but Jesus has come to set you free the day Jesus has come to your house today salvation has come to your house but you have to act for without faith it is impossible to please God you must believe that he is and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him Zacchaeus seek Jesus you know he climbed a tree he knew Jesus was passing his way and he had a desire for God do you have a desire for God do you have a desire to be saved hallelujah Zacchaeus did something great he seek Jesus to find him because he knew he was coming that way and Jesus looked and saw him and called him by name that's amazing remember he ran and climb up the tree he probably went there very early when no one can see him but Jesus knew he was there and Jesus went to his house he repented and the Lord saved him he said salvation has come to your house and today at the sound of my voice salvation has come to your house not religion but salvation not man but God the Christ the Messiah the Savior the one who died for you and I the only one could have died for you and I there's no other man give no more man where a man shall be saved but in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord we see Nicodemus came by night hallelujah and he was a ruler of the Jews he was a leader and Jesus said you are a leader and you don't know you are a religious man and you don't know that a man must be born again else he cannot see the kingdom of heaven there are a lot of religious people not saved I know ministers not saved because of the religion but this is not a religious thing Jesus never established religion he established salvation for the sinner hallelujah glory to God and religious people think they have no sin they think they are right but if you're not born again you cannot see the kingdom of God you must be born again for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God Romans 3 and 23 Jesus answered and said unto him verily verily I say unto thee except a man be born again he cannot see the kingdom of God John 3 and 3 praise be to God but you know what if thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead thou shall be saved so John, you know Jesus was talking but Zacchaeus was talking also when Jesus touched his heart he repented he wanted to restore goods to the poor he had a change of heart a change of mind he had a new spirit glory to God and that what Christ would do for you you probably have been rebelling you probably have faults with Christianity and all kind of faults come off your high horse glory to God except Jesus he's the only Lord he's the way he's the truth and the life no man could come unto the Father but by him you know, folks said they believe in God they believe in Jesus you can't go to the Father God without going through Jesus because he's the way and he's the truth and he's the life For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Hallelujah. So you have to take action. You have to use your mouth. Confess with your mouth. But you also have to use your heart. Because God wants to change your heart. He wants to give you a new heart. He wants to remove that stony, rugged heart. And some men can be rugged. Hallelujah. But there's nothing to see a saved man bodybuilder bodybuilder strong an athlete 
great men wealthy men who love God and praise and worship God is nothing like that glory to God hallelujah powerful men in this world because all the power they have is God has given them it hallelujah so whatever you have you it was given to you why not restore that blessing bless others bless the poor hallelujah get a change of heart change your attitude you're not too big for you don't get too big for yourselves a man who think he's too high for himself deceives himself and the truth is not in him but jesus has come to your house hallelujah now if you have decided to trust jesus repeat this prayer sincerely you know what i realized that jack zacchaeus was sincere he sincerely seek after Jesus and Jesus recognize his sincerity and Jesus went to his house although let people murmur you know when you can say people call look at oh, there's only there's only a father's a new thing he go to mm -mm. not with Christ when Christ come to your house there's a change hallelujah now if you want to accept Jesus please repeat after me God be merciful to me I'm a sinner save me and wash me in your blood help me lord i need your help reveal yourself to me lord and touch me and seal me as a child of uh, make me a child of god i forgive my sins and repent father god in the precious name of jesus wash me in your blood in the name of jesus father god and i thank you in jesus name i pray now God bless you richly until we meet again. Praise the Lord. I hope that tonight's teaching was a blessing to you. Seeking a, a character change. Mustard Seed, Tabernacle of Praise, Cultivating Spiritual Excellence is on Mondays at 7 p.m. to 8 p.m on Choice Gospel Radio each Monday on 92.9 FM. You can also listen to us on the Choice Gospel Radio app, which you can download at all Android and iTunes marketplaces. And if you would like to get in contact with Mustard Seed, you can reach out to us via email at mustardseedtabernacle at gmail.com and if you want to get more information about Mustard Seed, you can look up our website, mustardseedtabernacle.org. And if you want to send us mail, because we would like to hear from you, you can send us mail at Mustard Seed Tabernacle of Praise, P.O. Box 363, Brooklyn, New York, 11203. I hope that tonight's teaching was truly a blessing to you. I know it was a blessing for me, and I hope that You'll take the choice, you'll make the right choice to make that change and do something great for God. Father God, I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your grace. And I thank you for giving us this opportunity, Lord, for salvation. Father God, as you are witnessing to us and ministering to our hearts, I pray, Lord, Father God, that we will not depart from it father god but we will come to you lord and regardless of where we are and whatever walk of life we are in father god you're giving us this opportunity to repent and father god you're calling us home father god right now lord i'm just praying lord that some lost soul father god tonight will make that choice to come to you and to serve you in spirit and in truth i pray lord that you bless them lord father god i i just thank you for all our listeners tonight lord I'm praying, Lord, that you just continue to do something great in their lives, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. My brothers and sisters, I hope that this day you'll make the right choice to serve Jesus. Be blessed.